peace and guidance. Hello, all air signs. Welcome to Sylvivan. Back with another tarot card reading here for you. So air signs, I'm going to try to get information on new love coming your way. This is for all air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Libra, and Gemini. So let's go ahead and see what new love is coming your way within these next couple of weeks or days. Let's see what new love is coming your way. New love coming towards Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. I want to get a description of what their new love is going to look like and maybe like um, physical description or um, just of who they might be so they can get some clues. New love coming towards Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. What do they like? Can I get some more information on what they like? take a look at those a little bit later on um, in the video. So let's go ahead and get some tarot cards on what this person may look like. I do get that this person is going to come in and offer something stable and they're going to come in uh, at a point in your life where you feel at peace, where you feel more uh, mentally stable or mentally um, clear, like you know what you want. Yeah, this person is definitely going to come in with an attitude of gratitude. They're going to be very grateful for meeting you when they meet you. I do feel like this is someone who may be around you and they may be planning to communicate with you. They may be planning to come in. They also may be planning to like sneak in your life some way or another. I do feel like right now they may be going through some situations that they don't like. Uh, but at the end of the day, they're trying to do what's right, okay? They're a very honest person. And you're going to know this because you're going to be able to tell by the way they um, present themselves to you. Like when they come in, they're going to offer you something stable. Like they're going to offer you to go on a date, to go to the movies, to go out for a walk or something like that. I do feel like you're going to meet this person when you're outside though. You guys going to be like in an outdoor event, walk, out for a walk. Um, working out outside, doing something outdoors, and you're going to kind of just bump into this person. You're not going to see this person coming at all. So this is really beautiful energy. I do feel like they can be another air sign for you, but this may just be your energy coming through here as a king of swords, because I do feel like maybe you are uh, learning to master communication, or there's a certain, maybe this is online where you're meeting this person, maybe you've been communicating with this person online, or you will be meeting this person online for some of you on a social uh, app, on a dating website or something like that, or um, a dating app, I'm getting Bumble just because it's really yellow here, but it could be any any dating app or anything like that, okay? So it goes from the Seven of Swords to the Eight of Swords. So definitely a lot of movement, a lot of communication that will be happening between you two. But it does feel like honest communication. I feel like this person will love to talk or this is you, okay? Whatever the case is, there is a, a certain need to be clear and open and honest when it comes to your relationship, to your situation and whatever you're going through. Because I do feel like this person uses discernment or this may be you. Like you guys know how to use discernment very well and you're going to be able to tell if this person is lying, if this person is real, if this person is just um, playing mind games because uh, I do feel like there's a sense of mind games here or it feels like mind games but it may not be because you got the king of swords which overpowers this petty energy here. So um, whether this is you or them, you're going to know. Like you're going to know if someone is playing mind games right off the bat. Um, for others of you, you're going to know that this person is being honest. Uh, I do feel like this person tends to get up in their head a lot, so they may overthink situations like they <laughs> This person may have some type of anxiety to be honest with you when you meet this person like um, I feel like eye contact is going to be very important when you meet this person but at the end of the day um, th this person may also they like they, they're gonna love your eyes. They're gonna want to see your eyes. Like I said, eye contact is very important so you're going to know that this person is being honest and real because they make eye contact with you. Like something about their eyes is going to be very significant. Like they could have really beautiful eyes. I'm getting like a green hazel color, but it can be any color to be honest. Like it can be beautiful brown eyes. But you're going to see something within this person's eyes that are just going to be very unique, very different. 
Um, and I do feel like maybe this person is going to see something within you too. Like they're going to see your soul. It's like you guys can see into each other's soul. Um, and for some of you, yeah, you will be meeting this person around, um, around your work. If, if you work outdoors, I'm getting a venue or something like that. I'm getting a vineyard as well. Very interesting kind of energy. But this person, I, I think they're going to love to talk. Or they love the way you talk. They love your voice. They love. They may love what you do for work. Like They may be in, very interested. They may ask you like a ton of questions like about what you do and stuff like that. Um, but I do get a sense like communication is going to be very important to this person. Okay? Um, so the new love coming your way may be fair, like light-skinned. I'm getting a light-skinned. But that can only be for some of you because you do have the Nine of Pentacles here, which I'm getting like a medium tone skin but for most of you this is a light skinned person okay blonde hair uh, blue green eyes it doesn't have to be though okay because everybody is different so just take what you want and whatever resonates with you i'm gonna get one last card here for you guys yeah so like i said you guys are gonna meet this person when you're like out on an adventure or you're out doing something different that you haven't really done so it's gonna take a little bit of um exploring and a little bit of optimism on your end if you're not used to this to get out there and put yourself out there okay so it's going to be like this different energy that you're taking on the ace of wands so it's going to be a brand new beginning for you something completely different like i said a, a new opportunity for sure but this person is going to be um very handsome or very um their persona comes off as a little bit serious or just mature in general but I, I do feel like they're really fun. They're going to be really fun to be around. Um, this is a card of exploring, the card of fun, the card of, you know, just kind of going with the flow as well. Like kind of leaping into things without even knowing what you're getting yourself into. But that for some of you... Oh, sorry about that. I thought I heard something. <laughs> So for some of you, this is going to be a person who loves to talk or who loves singing, writing, um, poem. It, this person may be an artist um, or a, a rapper, a singer, anything like that, okay? Like they may be into music a lot, but they're going to love to talk to you. Um, with the Emperor card here, I feel like they, um, they have this mature energy around them, but also really lighthearted energy. So it's kind of really interesting with this person. It feels like you get the best of both worlds. They're also going to see you as this way. They're, that This is what they what it might be, actually. Like, for some of you, maybe one of you is a little bit older than the other one. But I do get this vibe, like, where they see you as very mature. But they also, um, it seems to me like, <laughs> this is you, Gemini. Like, you have two sides. Yeah, so it's like, you have two sides. You may only be showing one side to this person, like your serious side. But um, it's like this person wants to see your fun side or your other side or something like that. Oh, so I'm talking to a Gemini here. But obviously, this is for all air signs. So, I mean, like I said, it can be any air sign that you're meeting here. But I also got strong Aries energy. So you guys may want to look at the Aries um, video. But I do get a sense like this person is going to be um, really excited when it comes to meeting you, when it comes to this connection. They're going to be really excited about um, getting to know you more. Because I do feel like they're you're a little bit closed off and that this keeps this person <laughs> entertained. This keeps this person like wanting to come back for more and they know that they're going to have to put in work to get to you. I do feel that type of vibe too. Excuse me. For some of you, this person is your boss or this person is a boss or um, they're just taking control of their life really well. They may be starting something new when you meet them. Like they may have a new job, a new career. Um, or there may be just a, something new and fresh about, about this whole situation with them. Um, or they may just be looking in for something new, something different. And this may be something that you want as well. I feel like you guys are compatible though because I do feel like if you're an air sign, you're going to meet a fire sign or something like that. But to me, these two are very compatible. Okay, because you guys are going to both kind of push each other to be the best best versions of yourself. And you guys are both leaders in whatever it is that you do. And you're both very optimistic, very positive when it comes to um, staying open-minded. Okay, you guys are both very open-minded. Like you guys are both 
very intuitive as well and you guys are both intellect i feel like i feel like when you guys speak or communicate like it's just gonna be so um freely and so easy going because you guys are both you guys kind of both think the same in some type of way but you guys both have different kind of opinions so it kind of keeps the the conversation really interesting so i really love this there's a lot of intellect happening here there's a lot of um there's a lot of beautiful fresh new energy coming through from this from this so this is definitely someone new some someone different i feel like they're totally different like they may be a different background than you different religion or something like that as well because I, I feel like they're just really different than you've ever had and maybe someone that you've been wanting for a long time all right let's get more information on this person so here you get communication so definitely communication is going to be very important to them or to you okay so be very open-minded and be um optimistic and just stay open you know like don't close yourself off when you meet this person like try to be honest about what you're going through and stuff like that try to do things a little bit differently than you usually do if you want the situation to work out to the best of your advantage or to the best of your favor the highest good of both of you with communication here you get pisces energy and you get earth energy as well so i feel like you guys are gonna be like two peas in a pod right as usually what the what this means to me it's like you guys are gonna go really well like you guys are going to go really well together. Like I said, you guys are going to be very compatible. Like you're going to see that you guys are very different, but you guys are like on the same level to a certain extent. But there's still a sense that someone here is younger than the other person, but they still have a sense of maturity or wisdom behind them. And then you also get passion. So there is going to be a lot of passion in this connection. Okay, so it may not feel like that at first because... There may be something about communication being off a little bit too. Like that's why communication is important. So there may be something a little bit off when it comes to communication. Maybe timing. Maybe um, this person is really busy so they don't have that much time. So don't try to worry about why they haven't reached out because they will. Here with the Ace of Wands, they are very passionately attracted to you. They think that you're very sexy. I'm getting that you're going to come off as very sexy, very sexual, very sensual or something like that to this person. Okay, but you may not like... They may not be telling you this. Like, I feel like they're, they're, I feel like they are coming off very emotionally disconnected, but it's like they're putting up a front about it too. Like they don't want you to know everything. Like they don't want to put all their cards on the table, you know, but they are very interested in you. And I'm not getting any bad vibes from this situation at all. I just get that they could get in their head and they can overthink. All right, so... And you also get happiness. So this person is going to make you really happy. Um, I got Gemini um, Gemini here, okay? But a strong Gemini energy in this reading. But Libra, Aquarius, for you too, I just feel like they are going to make you really happy, okay? you're. I feel like you're both going to make each other very happy because you're so compatible. It, it's like once it starts, you're not going to be able to stop because air and fire, you can't stop that type of energy, the only thing that can stop this type of energy is water. And there's no water here, literally. There's earth. So it's something stable. I feel like they want to build something stable with you as well. And I feel like when you guys go on this date or this... I feel like you guys are going to go on a date for sure. Like to dinner or... Yeah, to dinner. This person may be vegetarian or this person may just be very optimistic, very happy. Um, they like to try new things as well with the full card here. Um, yeah, there's something about this person's diet. They may really like to take care of their diet, their health, um, their physical appearance as well. This person is working on their finances. They're working on being more stable because I do feel like there's something that they're worried about. I don't feel like this is really sneaky, but I just feel like they need to be prepared to come into this new relationship or something like that, okay? So if things are going slow or things are a little bit stagnated at first, just know that it's it's for the better. It's working out in your favor. This is like a blessing for sure. And things are going to work out just fine. So let's go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and bring my other cards because I almost forgot them. Actually, I need to bring them. Okay. 
Can I get more detail, please? Mouse. Okay, so you are going to intimidate this person. But this person is going to be, um, for some of you, this is an earth sign. Um, but with the mouse energy, yes, you may intimidate this person, but they're willing to take on, like, the reins. They're willing to, like, be brave enough to step into this. Like, they're in there, definitely an emperor energy. So if you're female, there's strong masculine energy coming through here. And they're very reliable and very trustworthy um, with this type of energy. But with the emperor card here, they may like to be in control, but not in a bad way. But this is like masculine, true masculine energy, which is very, it feels very healthy. But there is some sense of, I don't think this is mental health issues, guys. This is just like, like them trying to figure out what it is that they really want kind of thing. So that's what that's what they're trying to do in the current moment. But this person is very masculine in their energy. So it, it's a very healthy type of masculine though. With the elk here, they're they're gonna be very connected to either God, spirit, um, the universe, um, earth, mother earth. This is again, they're very stable, they're very grounded, and the elk is seen as a fatherly figure, anyways. Definitely strong masculine energy. So this may just be your other half. Like they just have that compatibility with you that you may be searching for, which is really nice to see. Let's get a back of the deck energy here. So we get fox. Fox usually comes out as a little bit sneaky. Okay, a little bit sneaky, a little bit sly. They're definitely really sly with their words, with the way they communicate. I feel like they're going to be um, a smooth talker, guys. You're going to see this. You're going to notice that they're, this person is a really smooth talker. They um, definitely have a way with words, okay? I don't know if that's going to be a good or bad thing. Um, I'm getting good, good vibes, but it can be different for everybody for sure. But the way they communicate, the way they talk, um, it's just very interesting. For some of you, they are very interested in you. They're kind of waiting for the next move. Okay, they're waiting to see who makes the next move or something like this, but they, <laughs> they're they definitely going to be the one making the, the next move, especially if you're Divine Feminine, you stand in your power and you kind of hold yourself at a high standard. Then you're going to be able to um, kind of not make the situation go in your favor, but you're going to help this masculine stand into their true power. But this is coming from a place where you stand in your power as Divine Feminine and you kind of let them take the lead a little bit. With the fox card here though, there is like telepathic communication. Um, this person may be a telepath. This person, this may be you. Like you may be tapping into what they're thinking or feeling or going through. But the fox energy always gives me some type of sneakiness. It's like this person may be planning something or like I said, it's like they're testing something. It's almost like they want to see where this is going, but without actually, um, they're trying to like, figure out something that's what it feels like but like i said i don't get bad energy from this so aries i mean aries <laughs> this may be aries but um yeah but i feel happy you um air signs thank you so much for tuning into this reading i really hope you enjoyed it i will catch you guys in your next signs or your other readings bye for now